हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एस एन आर अकेडमी सो एस एन आर अकेडमी इज एन ऑनलाइन कोचिंग पोर्टल फॉर गेट एंड ई एस टू थाउजेंड एटीन एग्जामिनेशन एंड हेयर यू कैन फाइंड डिटेल लेक्चर्स ऑफ सब्जेक्ट रिलेटेड टू इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स ब्रांच एंड विच विल बी टेकन बाई सब्जेक्ट एक्सपर्ट्स एंड दीज लेक्चर्स विल बी टेकन बाई द पीपल हु हैव ऑलरेडी क्रैक्ड द गेट एंड ई एस एग्जामिनेशन एंड सो यू कैन जस्ट सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल so for regular updates and we will be we'll keep updating you as soon as we up, update any lecture on any subject so let me tell you a little bit about myself my name is sumit kumar verma and i have done my btech from ec branch from mit alabad and in this uh, in this lecture i'll just be telling you about the basics of communication systems not the i will I'll, I'll not start the subject in this slide itself i'll just let you know uh, the exam orientation of this subject so i'll be taking your communication systems topic so so this is the syllabus for uh, communication systems regarding gate exam so as you can see the gate has wide syllabus for uh, communication systems and recently we have seen more focus on this topic random variables and processes so but we have to cover all the topics starting from analog communications we will where we will see different modulation demodulation techniques digital communication systems then information theory your uh, frequency division multiplexing and time division multiplexing techniques then we will also see error coding correction techniques and this again random variables and processes is a very important topic for gate and es does not focus on this much but for gate we need it we need to solve good enough questions from the previous year papers on this topic so i'll be covering this topic in detail when we come to this and then we coming to es exam as i told it basically has more syllabus but it not as in detail which the gate exam has so here again we have the same things we'll we'll go through types of modulation in analog communication and digital communication then the same frequency division and time division multiplexing techniques then this part basic information theory quantization and coding this part is uh, is not as much asked in es but still we will be covering it because we know that it has been asked in gate exam and then we have some additional topics which is like optical communication and satellite communication so this is only for es exam but uh, i'll not be covering in this in my lecture because we'll be covering after we are done with the emt and antennas now coming to the previous year analysis of all these exams so in gate as you can see here that almost every year around more than 10 to 15 marks they are asking so 10 to 15 marks is a lot of weightage given that it's a 100 marks exam and you are seeing around 10 to 15% marks you can score from this subject only again es objective you can see it's around 20 to 25 marks sometimes more so again very important subject for any exam because that's uh, the communication systems is a core ec subject again coming to es conventional again more than 50 to around 70 marks they are asking each and every year so here we'll need to understand have a good understanding of our theory topics and have a good understanding of concepts so we can write it uh, write it well in, in the exam now the course agenda is so this is how i'll be covering it i'll be covering it, it around in 45 to 50 lectures and this this would be the order that i'd be following while we are going through this lecture so i'll start with basics of signals and systems so signals and systems this is just an introductory subject but because we use it a lot in communication systems so i'll be just starting with just the basics of it and then i have written the trigonometric identities part as well because once we start communication systems we will will be dealing with lot of sinusoidal signals so we'll just need to have some basic mathematical knowledge to convert those signals to other forms so so just so that we don't waste time in mathematics and we'll just go to, directly go to the concepts then coming to the core communication subjects we'll start with amplitude modulation they where we'll go through am the other techniques dsb sc ssb vsb and then frequency division multiplexing then we'll come to am, am, angle modulation where we'll go through fm and pm then i'll just to finish this uh, i'll go through the receivers part so that will be your am fm and super heterodyne receivers here we'll study the concept of image frequency which is very important 
then to start with digital communication i'll explain sampling because sampling although it is a topic of signals and systems but we will be needing it to understand digital communications how to jump from analog communication to digital communications then once we are into digital communication we'll study the different pulse modulation techniques the uh, amplitude shift keying phase shift keying and the frequency shift keying and also the time division multiplexing technique then this part the information theory error control coding these are topics which are important for gate not as much for es but they are they have been asked in es then this pro this as i told this is a very important topic for gate exam so once we come to this we'll solve a lot of questions on this we'll also i'll also give you detailed theory explanation so don't have any problems here then coming to the noise part this is again very important for gate so noise even analog part analog communications noise i'll cover here only with the digital communications part and then finally to end it we'll have the bit error rate and the matched filter receivers part and then there are some additional topics which can be directly asked in objective questions so these will be just theoretical topics so we will just the finish the subject with these topics so now what you have to do as we are going through this uh going through the lectures so after each and every lecture or after each completion of each and every topic you can just go through the gate and es questions and uh, you can solve them and discuss the doubts with us and we'll although we'll be discussing some good questions in the class while we are covering the topic but i suggest you to solve all the questions and just uh, ask the doubt if you have any through this email id which is snr.academy.gate@gmail.com and then put the subject as communication systems so i'll try to uh, resolve your doubts through this email id so if you want to go through some books although you don't need if you are going through the, all the lectures but if you want to go through certain topics which you which you think we are not we have not covered in detail or you need it for some other exam then these are the good books you can uh, consult vp uh, lathi this is a good book for analog communications and for digital communications you can go through simon hekin then again i am stressing that previous year gate and es questions are must because you need to solve more and more questions to get perfect in the subject so thank yeah thank you guys for uh, listening to me and please subscribe to our youtube channel to stay updated when we start our lectures so most probably we'll be starting our lectures starting from 20th of feb and again you can email if you have any doubts you can email us at this email id and also please like our fp page which is at the rate snracademy.official so thank you guys thank you